Judge Vic Rawl is on the line. V-I-C-R-A-W-L dot com is his website. He is the uh, can or was the primary candidate for the U.S. Senate from South Carolina, uh, competing with other Democrats to take on in the general election Senator Jim DeMint, the Republican from South Carolina, and was quote beaten end quote by uh, Alvin Green, the unemployed, uh, apparently uh, in, indicted for a felony for showing pornography to young girls at a college, um, semi-articulate guy who somehow magically came up with a ten. Thousand dollar filing fee, and even more magically, got 59 percent of the vote, which is uh, pretty incredible since he ran no ca- campaign. Uh, Vic Rawl, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Tom. Glad to be here. the The number one thing that troubles me about this is the exact same disparity, not in the same proportions, but the exact same disparity that we saw in South Carolina, that we also saw in Ohio in the 2004 presidential election, and that is that the absentee ballots in Ohio went overwhelmingly for Kerry. The electronic voting machine ballots went for George Bush. In South Carolina, the absentee ballots, the paper ballots, went overwhelmingly for you. The electronic uh, voting machine ballots went overwhelmingly for Alvin Green. Um, at the time, John Edwards wanted Kerry to, to talk about voting machine fraud. He was unwilling to do it. We discussed this with John Edwards on the air. And uh, the whole Democratic Party, in fact, has been afraid to talk about this. Are you prepared to talk about it? That's exactly what the protest is all about. We use the ES and S electronic touchscreen, no paper backup machine. The experts that have been looking at it from my standpoint, and we're using three basic groups of experts. One are statisticians, two are computer scientists, and three are political experts. Right. And what we're trying to decide is whether or not there was some, and I'm not going to say shenanigans because I can't go that far, but I'll simply say, is there some issue with regard to the machine and all the programming which has caused an aberration in the outcome of the election? Thomas Paine famously said, take away a man's right to vote and you reduce him to a subject of tyranny. And uh, we have in the United States handed the beating heart of democracy. I mean, there is no part of the commons, it seems to me, that is more vital to democracy than our vote. The beating heart of democracy, we have handed it over to a small handful of corporations. ES&S was founded by one of the Amazon brothers who, who, who believes that the Bible should replace the Constitution as the document that rules America. Uh, you know, this this is bizarre. And this company is counting our votes in secret and, and, and won't give us how did how did this come about in south carolina i don't know all i can tell you is this is the machine that the election commission director wanted and i believe they bought them in 2004 at least that's what they say yeah and uh, of course our issue's always been no paper backup on these machines i'm intimately well i wouldn't say intimately i am familiar with the background of the machine in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Florida. Right. Uh, and, Where they and have to failed, you carry, know. Yeah, to carry your thread a little bit further. You know, it's bizarre, but one of the largest stories in the country was the Afghanistan vote recently. Right. And the same, On paper. Yeah, the same folks that are looking at the, at the aspects of fraud and that, or some of those are the same experts we're utilizing to determine whether there was, in fact, some sort of shenanigans in this particular race. So right. a lot of them are the same people. Um, you know, it, it's what concerns me is that some of the blogs and talking heads regarding this race tend to put Mr. Green and myself on the same footing, i.e., unknown. Right. That's rather disingenuous, Tom, to all the people that work for me. We had 700 volunteers. We've got a campaign office. We've had a website. We've had uh, Twitter. We've had Facebook up for at least three and a half or four months. We've done 80 appearances in 20 counties. Remember, this is a primary election, not a general election. Right. You tend to run against the person that you're opposed to. Right. Mr. Green never showed his face, name, picture, Right, and and and, 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 and and Green is an unemployed unemployed guy who's apparently about to be indicted for pornography, and you are an ex judge, an ex, an ex uh, state representative, if I re- if I have this right, and uh, well, you you go through your CV. Tom, I've got a very long history of public service. I've got 26 years in the South Carolina National Guard, five years on the Workers' Compensation Commission, 12 years on the Circuit Court bench. Uh, eight years in the South Carolina State House. I spent a year as a prosecutor in Charleston, and of course, in 2008, after I retired from the bench, 
I ran for and won a county council position in the county of Charleston. Right. And I've enjoyed it. I mean, I'm, I, you know, this business about people are tired of politicians, they're looking for new faces. But listen, I, I'm not a politician. I'm a public servant. And the bottom yeah. line is I've been serving the public for a very long time. And, do, and, think, and apparently doing a fine enough job that you could get hundreds and hundreds of volunteers out to go door to door for you. And still a guy who, does, who spent not one penny on the campaign got 59% of the vote where they were counted on the electronic machines and got very, very little of the vote when it came to absentee ballots. Do I have that right? Yes, sir. And that's one of the issues we're having the experts look at, for sure. Yeah. So how can people help you out? We have about a minute left here. Vic Rawl, we're talking with uh, VICRAWL.com. How can our listeners help help you forward this investigation? Well, if they are aware of anything, especially in South Carolina, involving that machine or specifics, they could always go on my website, VicRawl.com. We do have an election issue website up, and we also have... Uh, a phone number, 843-278-0510. Okay. And if they've got the information, we greatly appreciate it because the investigation is ongoing. We need to make the presentation before the executive committee of the Democratic Party, 3 o'clock this Thursday. Wow, good luck. And, and I assume that phone number is on your website at vicrawl.com? Certainly is. Okay. Certainly is. Judge Judge Vic Rawl, former judge, former prosecutor, former state representative, and uh, beat by an unemployed guy who's, uh, well, not beat. I mean, you know, the electronic voting machines said he was beat. Check it out. Um, yes, sir. Tom, um, one last comment. This is really not about Mr. Green and me. This is about the sanctity of an election. I agree. I absolutely agree, sir. It is about the sanctity of our election. 